And I see that in the media, that's, you know, when for one reason you come to this uh, developer conference is about VR. And I see there's a lot of people talking about VR. And I really, um, I'm supposed to give you a kind of a thought leadership about the VR because we're, and, uh, Samsung is really a leader in the uh, VR industry because of its gear, gear VR. VR is amazing, but the industry is still it's in infancy. And VR technologies are transforming many industries uh, and uh, creating amazing opportunities for everyone. And you know, examples are bound in game, entertainment, real estate, education, and many other areas. And the entertainment industry is one of the most enthusiastic advocates of the virtual reality. The media companies are creating VR contents for music, drama, and sports. So those are a lot of applications. I think, but you know, this VR is not going to be just for the professional. It will be for the consumers as well. I think with our introduction of Gear 3, you know, 360 camera, uh, we can actually really give a, allowing our consumers to upload, to create their own content, upload this into our, you know, uh, the, the Gear 360 stores, or Milk VR we just talked about. Okay. And so this, why this is going to be important? Well, you know, VR is doesn't necessarily require, I mean, you, a lot of people say, oh, in order to have a VR, you need to have a head-mounted display. It always really messes up your hair, especially mine, you know, already messed up. You know, but it's just, but, you know, 360 video, you can actually consume this on the, our uh, device by looking at it. It's so vivid and so, you know, you know alive. And you look at all, you know, around this. And you can also do, view this on the TV. Uh, you know, you can have a better experience with head-mounted display, of course, right? But actually, the, the ability to have this uh, affordable and, uh, and very convenient, easy to carry, you know, camera, you know, also either could be built into the phone or you can as an accessory. It's give, allow you to really capture your personal moment. For, in, for instance, like a baby's first step or daughter's wedding and many other precious moments in the life. It's all about human connection and personal communication. And we're gonna give, we're working on this real-time editing and sharing and unloading and you know, streaming of this content. And it's gonna be possible using our mobile devices. That's more powerful. So that's, that's about you know, what's, uh, what's I think we're, we're gonna come in near you know, future. In, but what I really see far away as really, well, it's not necessarily really far. It's within you know, two or three years. I think it's going to be reality. Remember that holodeck experience at Star Trek? Right? And you, you enter holodeck. You're entering the virtual world and interacting with all the virtual objects as if you're in, living in there. And that's the kind of uh, the reality we're trying to create, or it's virtual reality in that sense. right? And so, but in order to have that kind of capability, today's VR equipment is not really ready. It's still very heavy, you know, and sometimes it causes dizziness, and the image quality can be improved, needs a lot of computation power, and also especially restricting mobility because it actually has to have a wire or, you know, has, a very, has a limited input control. So these are the exactly the area that we are, in fact, working in our lab trying to improve, right? That follow that experience, that the ability that you can roam around and touch the object. And our, we are working on this wireless and the dedicated VR devices, not necessarily working with our mobile phone. And that actually really give you the motion tracking and you know, hand gesture tracking, all of that combined, really give you that experience of this immersive experience. That's what we are really working on today, okay? And so you're gonna see a lot of our products coming into hitting the market in, in a few years about this, you know, with these capabilities. So that's, uh, that's about our VR and the future of VR. Let me wrap this up, right? So uh, you have uh, seen a glimpse of you know, the, a lot of our, you know, the, the software strategy and software products today, right? And, uh, and I think we covered a lot of grounds today. And there's much more to come. 